Last recipe of the night. This is for Reed Drummond Steak Salad, salad Board from the Pioneer Woman. Four super fast suppers. Easy level. Takes 45 minutes. Active 35 minutes. Serves four. You need two one pound, three and a quarter inch thick ribeye steaks. Two large onions sliced into half inch rounds. Two tablespoons of lemon pepper seasoning. Kosher salt. Four tablespoons of olive oil plus more for drizzling. A loaf of crusty bread. Half a cup of sour cream. Half a cup of mayonnaise. You need three tablespoons of prepared horseradish, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one head of green or red leaf lettuce, the leaves separated, six ounces of white cheddar sliced, two scallions, but you want the greens only, the green parts sliced thinly, sea salt just for the sprinkling. Yeah. Then you preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, heat a grill or grill pan or medium high heat, sprinkle a steak in and onions with a lemon pepper seasoning and a good pinch of kosher salt. Oil the grill well using half the olive oil, then cook the steaks until desired done as four to five minutes per side for medium rare. Of course, you know that. Remove the steaks to the cutting board and rest, tend to boil about 10 minutes, and the rest of the olive oil to the grill and cook the onions until nice and charred. That's four to five minutes aside. Remove from the grill and set aside. Meanwhile, wrap the bread in foil and place in the oven until hot and crisp, about 10 minutes. Mix together with sour cream and mayo, and horseradish and the Worcestershire and the black pepper and the kosher salt in a, in a bowl and set aside. Slice the steak and shingle it in the middle of a cutting board or serving platter. Break apart the onions and arrange on one corner of the board. Slice the bread and shingle along one side of the board. Use the lettuce, tomatoes, and white cheddar to fill those holes. Sprinkle the steak with green onions and sea salt, and give the board a drizzle of olive oil, place a bowl of dressing on the board. Have everyone help themselves either make it up as a salad or a sandwich with whatever they like in the selections on this board. So, really, you can do it with a salad, omit the bread, or you could do it with a sandwich. You can either have it hold the onions or hold the lettuce, whatever you'd like. This steak sandwich salad board is perfect for everybody, even for those picky eaters who, who don't like some things on some things, which is perfectly fine. But for those who are trying to eat healthy, they can make a salad out of it. That's not bad. And maybe break up the cheese to make it a little easier, you know? I think that'd be that's probably the best thing. But you can you know what? There's no limit to what you can do on this steak salad sandwich, steak sandwich salad board. So go to foodnetwork.com, find this recipe, and you'll be the hero of the kitchen and the party once when you make this. So I'll do it. I'm from Spain 1. Thank you so much for watching. Hope y'all have a great night, and I will see you for more videos in the morning or in the afternoon, whenever. So take care and sleep peacefully.